How do we inherit our genes? How come that if the dominant gene of a species is black and the recessive is white, an offspring can be checkered? These situations cannot be explained by simple, complete dominance inheritance alone. Through the basics of co-dominance, you will understand this part of genetics. Where did this checkered chicken come from? If one parent had the dominant gene, black, and the other had the recessive gene, white, shouldn't the offspring be black? It should, if this species followed a complete dominance pattern of inheritance, but it does not. In the co-dominance pattern of inheritance, which this chicken follows, the offspring shows both its phenotypes, or traits, of the parents equally. In this case, the chicken shows both the black and the white in its checkered color. How does this happen? Let's look at this Punnett square. If one of the parents was dominant homozygous, black, and the other was dominant recessive, white, the table would look like this. According to the completion of the square, the offsprings would look like this. The BW offspring, instead of being heterozygous dominant with a black phenotype, has a checkered phenotype. Therefore, in this cross, WW is a recessive white chicken, BB is a dominant black chicken, and BW is a heterozygous checkered chicken. Therefore, in a co-dominance pattern of inheritance, the heterozygous offspring does not show the dominant phenotype, but shows both phenotypes of the parents equally. Other examples that follow this pattern of inheritance can be chickens, cows, flowers, horses, and more.